Hello friends, outdoor pastor here. I know it's been about eight and a half since the last video, but here we are again. It's been a long dark season here in the north, but uh, now uh, little by little we have more daylight and it's a beautiful day. So I decided to come out today uh, by this lake, which is named Holy Lake. Yes, that's the name of the lake. So, uh, plan is to uh, find some firewood and I want to make a little fire here on the ice and uh, do a little, a little outdoor cooking. I have some good items with me, so uh, I hope to have a nice little barbecue. So that's the plan, that's the mission. So stay tuned, let's see how it all goes. And look at the beautiful lake. Few people walking here and there, but nothing too crazy. So it's quite peaceful and quiet here. Um, now, the first part of the mission is to find some firewood. Won't know if it will be easy or difficult, uh, but at least there seems to be some. Uh, and then find some kindling as well, because I never bring anything but there seems to be already some perch bark there and that's about the best kindling you can find so seems like it's going to be good and I don't need too much firewood either this one stick and a couple more maybe and that will be enough we don't need to make any super big fire today just enough to cook and relax for uh, a little while and then go back home yeah there's plenty enough sticks I, I think this and the other one is just enough for us today yes I think so so now just uh, collect some kindling and whatnot and then we will be ready to go and this stuff here is just perfect like you many of you know if you are in a forest you need to make a fire or just anywhere if you can find all this stuff you will have no problem making fire whatsoever I don't probably even need too much of it. Probably this is even enough. Yeah. Uh, so, let's see. I hope we don't meet any angry people today because, yeah, making fire. You still need to make fire here in anybody's land. But since we are on the ice of the lake, I see it at least differently, so at least there's no risk of it to uh, spread anywhere, so I'm quite bold to do it. And let's hope that people also are nice for me today. Okay, let's get into it. Uh, that's the pile of food so far. I think we need to get that just a bit more. This is the awesome tool that I use. It's a kind of mat machete. It also has a saw on the other side. So with the, it doesn't do any good with super thick wood, but some like under five centimeters thick, just fine, so about two inches. So it's a good tool. So I found this one with thicker wood. So I think this should be enough and if not then we can quickly go and collect some more but let's get the fire started so here we go let's see if we still got this uh, always a bit more challenging with the frozen wet wood but uh, usually things still work out pretty well so Let's see how we go today. Oh, 
get this other side of the kindling burning as well because for some reason it didn't spread over there. Here we go. Here we go, that's good. That's good. Seems pretty nice. Working out pretty well. Okay, we do have fire now. It wasn't that easy to make a fire on the ice in the end. I had, I had it before, but not in ages. When I was a kid, we did sometimes, but yeah. The key is to put something, some wood underneath. Otherwise, when you start lighting it up, uh, your all your stuff is in a pile of water very soon. So uh, then it won't burn, of course. But if you put something underneath and then put your kindling on and then stack up your f uh, firewood, then it works out quite okay. So in me in short time we can start our cooking. Friends, tell you what, I can say that it never, I don't remember if it ever have to, taken me so long to uh, get the fire going than today, but finally it seems that it's burning alright. What I had to do was collect a few rocks from the woods to put them under the fire because, yeah, with the, with the wet wood and everything, it really didn't go too well on the directly to on the ice but now we get some coals underneath and uh, no water so it's burn burns just fine and we will get to do our cooking pretty soon i'm very positive about it so guys for our food today we have have a steak with some masala curry seasoning and some mushrooms so that should be a pretty nice meal and now it's uh, cooking nicely on the fire as well this is just a tin steak so it will not take too long for it to cook well it took me a long time certainly to get into cooking but I hope that it will be a reward in the end Okay, just let it be there for a few minutes, both sides, and then our delicious meals will be ready. I could choose to make some easier <laughs> meals when I'm out there, but uh, I, I, I'm always up for a good challenge, so... And uh, yeah, this will work out in the end pretty nicely. So, yeah, can't wait. I consider my steak to be cooked now I like my steak well done so hope it is because we are running out of time soon but let's try it I believe it's delicious anyway okay it just wanted to cook my steak a tiny bit longer it's almost there but let's try some of these mushrooms they look good Hmm, yeah, these are some really nice mushrooms, yummy, I do want to make some more, I have plenty of them there, there the steak is coming out nicely, mm, I'm enjoying these mushrooms, mm. grilled mushrooms, is there anything better? probably the grilled steak <laughs> to go it should be ready and I will definitely put some more mushrooms there they're so nice while I'm eating the steak uh, they will be cooked so now our steak is well done cooked well and yeah I'm totally enjoying it you can just imagine the taste but yeah, steak cooked on the fire. Tastes very nice having all the smoke flavor and everything. Pretty good. And it's not chewy or anything. Just uh, easy to eat. And yeah, the curry uh, seasoning makes it very nice. Having this 
Indian type of flavor. Mm -hmm. And a few mo more mushrooms coming out there nicely as well. Mm, good meal in the end. Great meal. Okay, now just enjoying the peppermint tea and uh, barbecuing a few more mushrooms. Sun is getting lower and lower. We have just a little bit of daylight left at the holy lake. <laughs> So, if you think about the word holy, what comes to your mind? I don't know if there's anything especially holy about this lake, but it's just the name of the lake. We have here many lakes named after the same name, Holy Lake. But holiness is some great thing. It's, it means about being separated. And uh, as a believer, for me especially, it means being separated for God, for his purposes. Speaking about holiness, holiness, can a human being, can a man really be holy? Uh, yes and no. Uh, in our daily life, it's pretty hard to be perfect, but the uh, Bible teaches us the true Jesus we are holy. We trust in His holiness and and He sanctifies us by His blood. So, yeah, we can be holy, we can live a separated life and uh, it's a good life as well. If you want to have a real freedom in your life, it, the holiness is the way to go. It brings so much joy. It doesn't make your life hard, but it, it gives you more freedom uh, uh, because you are free from the inside. Nothing bugs you in, in that sense. So yeah, it's a good state to be, being holy to God. But yeah, anyway, just a little message here. But yeah, beautiful weather, not too cold, and uh, having a hot drink, very enjoyable. So I'm packing my stuff and heading back to uh, civilization. <laughs> I'm not too far from it anyway. Okay, Mar marching back to the car right now. Uh, I'm so glad that I came out today. Uh, yeah, it was about about the time to get out, and uh, yeah, I won't regret it. It was a good challenge to make a fire on the ice, and. Uh, we learn as we go. Yeah, now I know how to do it next time. Just have to have some rocks or whatever underneath or just some so dry wood that it will burn with no problem. But yeah, that was a good one and uh, enjoyed my meal and the fresh air, which is always so good. So, and I hope that you enjoyed as well watching this one and uh, I also hope that uh, for the next video it won't take as long as this one did so see you okay back to the car now so yeah my filming device died because of the cold even though it's not so very cold but still battery probably not so good anymore so uh, I, I missed a bit, little bit of my outro so anyway God bless you guys we will see you next time I will now, now drive myself back to home have a sauna today actually have to go to shop first but anyway okay God bless you my friends see you